Aging, it's something we all face, a journey marked by milestones, memories, and for many fear. But what if aging wasn't inevitable? Scientists are on the brink of rewriting the rules of life itself with breakthroughs that could transform the way we live and age. This is the story of the science behind reversing aging. To understand how we might reverse aging, we first need to know why it happens. Scientists discovered that cells can only divide a limited number of times before they stop. This is the Hayflick limit. Over time, the protective caps on our DNA, called telomeres, shorten. When telomeres become too short, cells enter a state known as senescence. These zombie cells, as they're often called, don't die like they should. Instead, they linger in the body, secreting inflammatory chemicals that damage nearby healthy cells, a phenomenon identified by Dr. Judith Campisi. This inflammation is a major driver of aging and age-related diseases, from arthritis to Alzheimer's. Scientists are now tackling aging head -on. One promising approach is senolytics, drugs that selectively kill harmful zombie cells. In 2015, Jennifer Doudna and Emilia CRISPR can repair the damage of the potentially halting or reversing aging of the source. Perhaps the most exciting discovery comes from Shinya Yamanaki's work on the that reprogram adult cells into a new David Sinclair's team at Harvard used these factors to partially reset the aging body of mice. The future of aging science than what we thought was possible. These breakthroughs in aging science aren't just theoretical, they're already changing lives. Meet John, an 85-year-old athlete who regained his stamina thanks to experimental senolytic therapies. He's not just living longer, he's living better. Then there's Anna, 102, who credits cellular rejuvenation treatments with keeping her active and engaged. Her story is a testament to the power of these emerging technologies. Finally, insights from blue zones, regions where people live exceptionally long lives, show how simple lifestyle habits like diet and community can complement these scientific advancements. The future of aging science is not just about adding years to life, it's about adding life to years. With the power to slow or reverse aging comes profound responsibility, who will have access to these breakthroughs. Clinical trials for senolytics and cellular therapies are promising, but they're expensive, raising concerns about equity. Could these technologies widen the gap between the wealthy and the rest of society? There are also deeper questions. What happens if people live to 150 or beyond? How would this affect the environment, pensions, and workforce dynamics? The future of aging science is exciting but complex, and these ethical dilemmas are ones we must address as we move forward. The science of aging is no longer just about adding years to life. It's about adding life to years. With breakthroughs like senolytics to remove harmful cells, CRISPR to repair DNA, and Yamanaka factors to reset aging clocks, we are entering an era where aging could be optional. Imagine a world where the elderly live with the energy of youth, free from chronic diseases, and people no longer fear the limitations of age. But this journey is just beginning, and its success will depend on how society tackles the challenges of accessibility, ethics, and sustainability. Could you be part of the first generation to experience a world where aging is a choice? Join the conversation and share a vision for a future that redefines what it means to grow older. This video is brought to you by medicalhealthtips.live. If you found this information helpful, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon to stay updated.